In this video, we will be demonstrating how to use the Swaffer flow meter to measure stream velocity. The required equipment for this includes waders and a life jacket, waterproof gloves if using in cold weather, a meter stick to measure depth, the Swaffer wand in its case, which is numbered, and a pelican case with the corresponding number. Here are various pieces that make up the swaffer and how to set it up. This can be done in the lab, but preferably in the field. To set up the swaffer, you'll need to take the pole out of its case and unwind the cable. You will see at the bottom there is a small foot and a place to attach the propeller. Extend this 90 degrees and make sure it stays 90 degrees when you're sampling. You can adjust the swaffer by pulling at the top here. Here is the pelican case. In the ecology lab, each meter is calibrated with a specific weighting rod, so make sure your case and rod have the same numbers on them. First, you'll see the instruction sheet and then the logger. The logger attaches to the cord attached to the swaffer wand. Plug the cable on the pole into the meter by lining up the pins and the grooves and then make sure to screw them together to secure. This can be done in the field or in the lab. Make sure you don't get this part wet or get any snow in it. In this bag we have a propeller, two allen keys, and a bolt. You'll want to use the smaller allen key for this. Take the propeller and place it onto the end of the foot here and use the smaller allen key to tighten it. On the swaffer rod, there will be two holes. You'll want to make sure to use the one that is closest to the propeller and tighten it just enough that the propeller won't easily pull off. Ensure that you are tightening the correct screw and be careful not to over tighten. The propeller should be snug but will still move freely. Give the propeller a light pull to make sure that it does not come off. You'll want to make sure that the propeller stays at a 90 degree angle like this when you're sampling. After attaching the propeller, Take the bolt from the bag and screw it in to hold the bar in the correct position when sampling. This can be loosened when the height needs to be adjusted and tightened before sampling. When using the swaffer, make sure that you're using the next strap of the meter and clipping it into your life jacket to avoid dropping it, as the logger itself is not waterproof. Place the logger facing upstream and make sure you're standing behind it. Ensure that you're holding the swaffer straight up perpendicular to the water and that you are not tilting it forwards or backwards when sampling. To use the swaffer, the propeller must be placed at 60% of the total depth measured from the stream surface. 60% of the stream's depth is optimal velocity. Once the depth is determined, the pole must be adjusted to ensure the propeller is at the correct sampling depth. This is done by sliding the narrow pole to the value corresponding to the depth which will automatically adjust the propeller to the correct height. Each ring on the pole is 0.05 meters, or 5 centimeters. If your stream depth was 20 centimeters, you would slide the narrow pole down to the 0.2 value. Or, if it measured at 10 centimeters, you would slide it down two more notches to the 0.1 value, which represents 10 centimeters. Use the bolt to secure the pole in place when sampling. To turn on the logger, hold the power button. Make sure that the unit of measurement is in meters. Press zero to change from imperial to metric if needed. When set up in the stream and ready to record, press velocity, enter, then enter again to start. The meter will count down 30 seconds and bring up a screen with the velocity in meters per second. It also asks if you want to accept or reject. If you accept the reading, it will average this value with the next readings. If you only want individual readings, write down the velocity and then press escape, or move over to the next location and repeat the steps to measure velocity again. Note that the countdown only starts if the propeller is spinning. If you are in very calm water, you may need to turn the propeller slightly so the meter starts to count down and again at the end of 30 seconds for the velocity value to appear. 
When you are done sampling, turn off the data logger by holding the power button. Unscrew the wire from the pole from the data logger. Remove the propeller by unscrewing it and be sure that the Allen key and propeller get put back in the case. Position the propeller foot up and wind the wire around the pole. Put the pole in the case and put the lid on top of the case. If sampling in the water, the poles may become frozen and stuck. Ensure you only get the swaffer wet once when you begin sampling. And if the pole becomes frozen and you cannot move it, try dipping it into the water like this to help free it up. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed our tutorial.